Hello everyone. In our previous lecture, we have seen about depth first search concept of graph traversal technique. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about breadth first search technique. So the definition of BFS is similar to DFS. It is also producing the spanning tree as the final result and it is a graph without any loops. And the difference lies in the data structure used. In depth first search, we used a stack data structure for implementation. Here, queue data structure is used. The size of the queue will be the total number of vertices in the graph. And let us see the algorithm for implementing the BFS traverser. So, step one is we have to select any vertex as a starting point for traversal from the given graph and consider it as visited node. And then we have to insert that visited node into the queue. Next second step is we have to visit all the non-visited adjacent vertices of the vertex which is lying at the front of the queue and then insert these vertices into the queue. And step three is whenever there is no new vertex to be visited from that particular vertex, then we have to remove that vertex from the front of the queue. We have to repeat these steps two and three until the queue becomes empty. And once the queue becomes empty, we get the final spanning tree by removing all unused edges from the graph. Now let us see the BFS traversal with an example. Consider the same uh, graph which we considered for uh, DFS traversal. We have nodes from A to G. And step one is select any one vertex as the starting vertex. So let it be A and uh, it is considered as visited and we have to insert it into the queue. So, visited node is indicated with green shade and that particular node has been inserted into the front of the queue. Next step is we have to find the adjacent vertices of A, so which is not visited. So, the adjacent vertices of A is B, D, E, all are not visited because it is not shaded with green color. So, take all the three vertices and insert it into the queue and delete the vertex A because A is having all the nodes as visited now. So, this is the graph which indicates that uh, newly visited uh, nodes in the green shades and then the queue which contains D, E and B and A has been removed from the, from the front of the queue. Next, we have D in front of the queue. So, consider the non-visited vertices of D. But all the nodes of uh, D which is adjacent to it that is A and E uh, and uh, which is already been visited. So, what we have to do means we have to just remove the node D from the front of the queue. So, now the front of the queue contains E. So, E is having three adjacent vertices B, C and F. B already visited. C and F are not visited. So, insert the newly visited vertex into the queue. So, once inserting, we have to remove E from the front of the queue. So, now we have B, C and F. Now, considering B, B is um, here. So, B's adjacent vertices are all visited. So, we have to remove B from the front of the queue. So, here B has been removed and next we have C. So, C's adjacent vertex, we have one uh, vertex which is adjacent to it as not visited that is G. So, what we have to do is we have to insert G into the queue and delete uh, C from the queue. So, now at the front of the queue we have F. So, F now all the nodes are being visited. So, obviously we have to remove F and G respectively one by one. So, F has been removed. Then finally G is also been removed. Now, the queue has become empty. Now, we have to remove all the unused edges. So, this one, this one and this one are unused edges and form the final spanning tree. So, this is shown below. So, thus we have implemented the BFS uh, traversal and uh, formed the spanning tree. Thank you.